It's hard to not notice constant change and development pop up around Omaha, much of it housing as the city continues to balloon. But as it grows, so do complaints with many Omaha residents telling the city they don't want a new apartment building in their backyards. 3 News Now reporter John Kipper took a deep dive for us tonight. If you go to enough Omaha City Council meetings, you've seen the drill. A development project comes up, neighbors line up to fight it. I expected new neighbors. I didn't expect 96 new neighbors. The reasoning can depend on the project, but usually ranges from changing property values to bad design. It, it just does not fit into our neighborhood. Many don't want extra traffic on suburban streets filled with children. We personally have seen three accidents. There's a term for folks that fight development projects. They're called NIMBYs, short for not in my backyard. Wendy Sarkissian has spent much of her life in community engagement and planning across the world. Always asking, why are people responding this way? She's literally written the book, or in her case, books on community planning and engaging neighbors. She said these neighbors are often well-intentioned, and split politically, but respond to development near their home in a visceral way. We are animals. Despite what we might think, humans are animals and we're hardwired to be attached to the nest, to the home. It's just in our DNA. We're hardwired for it. And therefore, she believes people say what they need to say to try to slow or stop the project. I can't go in there and say to you, if you're the city planner, this is breaking my heart. I can't sleep. I'm crying all night. So I say, you're destroying my property values. You're creating more noise, congestion, parking problems, traffic. So how do these projects get approved? Let's start at the top. All these begin at the planning department, which guides developers through the process, largely focused on the rules and regulations. We don't give advice or feedback on based on neighborhood opposition. Specifically, the planning department hones in on the city's wide-ranging master plan. And if the project meets the broad standards of the master plan and is split up properly, it moves forward. We don't recommend in favor of projects that are not master plan compliant. And then projects go to planning board for approval and then Omaha City Council. So when neighbors object, sometimes projects get modified, but rarely are they canceled outright? John Kipper, 3 News Now. Well, tomorrow, John will have more specifically why these projects almost always get approved.